Hey everyone, this is a short video on uh, stuff that we should have covered today, but we weren't able to because uh, the class was cancelled. Okay, and so what we're going to cover are uh, the systems of first order linear and differential equations. For instance, something like this. Uh, <laughs> And so how to compute these is all you need to do is compute the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of, um, of this coefficient matrix A. Uh, and we need, uh, so, so depending on the size of your system, you need that many solutions, uh, linearly independent solutions. Um, so, so let's start with an example. So we have x prime equals 1, negative 1, 1, 3x. Uh, and so let's first compute the eigenvalues uh, and eigenvectors of this matrix. So to do that, you subtract off lambda from the diagonal and uh, compute the characteristic polynomial, which means you take the determinant instead of equal to zero. So this will be 1 minus lambda times 3 minus lambda plus 1. Uh, which is 4 minus 4 lambda plus lambda square, which is 2 minus lambda square. Uh, and so our eigenvalue is 2. Okay. And so to compute the eigenvector, we plug this back into here. And so we have negative 1, negative 1, 1, and 2. Uh, I mean 1. And v1, v2 is equal to 0, 0. Okay. And so uh, these are multiples of each other, and so we just have one equation. Uh, and so any two numbers that satisfy this would be fine, uh, but they can't both be zero. Uh, and so one eigenvector is one negative one. So one solution is given by C1 uh, e to the 2t one negative one. Uh, well, let me, yeah, okay, so, so C1. Um, but this is a 2 by 2, so we need another solution. And so how do we obtain that solution? Uh, well, uh, something of this form can't work because then we'll just do the same steps and we'll get the same answer. So the thing is, we're going to guess that uh, a second solution is of the form e to the 2t times some vector plus uh, e t e to the 2t times another vector, okay? Uh, but how, how can we find these vectors? So let's uh, take the derivative. So we get uh, 2 e to the 2t v plus uh, e to the 2t w plus uh, t e to the 2t times 2w because remember the v's and the w's are they're going to be some constant vectors uh, and now we plug it into uh, the equation uh, and so we have uh, ax minus x prime I mean ax minus x prime this is equal to zero uh, but if we plug these guys in then we get um, e to the 2t a v uh, plus t e to the 2 t a w, so that's a x minus uh, all of this. So this is a uh, um, gr grouping together the e to the 2 t part. So this is just 2 v minus e to the 2 t w and then minus t e to the 2t times 2w, okay, which we factor out the function part. So this is going to be e to the 2t times a minus 2i v minus w uh, plus t e to the 2t a minus 2i uh, w, okay. And so now we want both of these to be zero. Okay, uh, so actually we want to solve a, a system of 
matrix equation, namely a minus 2i uh, w equals 0 and uh, a minus 2i uh, v equals w. Okay, now uh, you don't actually have to do that much work um, because the first one, w, this is an eigenvector. So we just use the w that we can, well, the eigenvector that we computed before. So yeah, I guess I made a mistake. I should have used w, but oh well. Uh, so we know that w is 1, negative 1. And then uh, instead of solving the eigenvector, uh, eigenvalue equation, um, setting this to be 0, we set this to be w, OK? Uh, and so this is just n solving for negative 1, negative 1, 1, 1, and v v1, v2 equals, instead of 0, 0, we set it as uh, 1, negative 1, OK? And so now, uh, again, th these this uh, this whole row is just uh, um, negative 1 times this. And so this is secretly just one equation. So this is v1 plus v2 equals negative 1. OK. Uh, and so any, um, uh, well, basically, v2, you, you can say, is a free variable. Um, and in fact, in this case, we could even set it to be just 0, because if it's 0, v1 is negative 1. We want to avoid the vector 0, 0. So as long as uh, it's not 0, then you can set your free. As long as you don't make the whole thing 0, you can set one of your free uh, variables to be 0. OK? Uh, and so uh, v is 0, negative 1. This is one possible vector. OK? And so now we plug it in back into this x2. So a second solution can be given by uh, e to t uh, v, which is negative 1, 0, plus um, t e to the 2t and 1 and negative 1. OK. And so your full solution is c1 x1 plus c2 x2. Uh, which is equal to c1 e to the 2t 1 negative 1 plus c2 times all of this e to the 2t negative 1 0 plus t e to the 2t 1 negative 1. Okay, and so that is what you do when you have a repeated eigenvalue for the 2 by 2 case.